Hello, you are welcome to my channel. Let's provide answer to this question under Ghana Teacher Line Sexual Examination, NTC exam. A PE teacher orders 30 new jerseys for the school team, the football team, if each of the jerseys calls 3 CDs, 99 Ghana CDs, what is the total cost of these jerseys? So simply put, we are having one JC at the cost of three CDs, 99 word pesos. But the JCs are how many? They are 30, meaning there are 30 groups of what? Three CDs, 99 pesos. So what this simply means is that we are to multiply the, the cost of the JC by the number of JCs we have, meaning 30 JCs times three CDs. 99 word pesos and we know this can be done on the calculator without any stress this is also 10 times 3 so 10 times this we left with 3 times 39.9 meaning if you multiply this by 10 the point move only once so now we can rearrange this as 3 multiplying this value 3 times 9 will be 27 Remainder of 2, 3 times this, 27, so 29. Remainder 2, 3 times this will give us 9. 9 plus 2 will be 11. Decimal point is 1, so we indicate. This simply means that the cost of the JC is just what? 119 Ghana cities, 70 pesos for all of them. A store pays 82 Ghana cities. 95 pesos for a microwave and mark the price up by 20 percent so what is a new price in this case you are doing retailing so after you buy the microwave at the cost of 82 cities 95 pesos you wanted to make a profit right so you are increasing the price by what 20 percent so already since you are the one selling the microwave the original price is at what? 100%. So let's use ratio here. So you're going to say that if we have 100% being the original price, giving us 82 Ghana cities, 95 pesos. Now that the price is increasing, if a customer comes to the store to buy the microwave, you'll be paying the cost that you bought it plus the increment that you are intending to get. Meaning you'll be paying the 100% and still be paying what? The 20%. Meaning 120% is what the customer will pay. That will be the new price of the article. Then we can say that 120% will have to give us more than the 82 Ghana cities, 95 pesos. So if more, comparatively, less price divide. Meaning 120 divided by 100, we are using the less, times the price that we have, 82.95. And we are aware that this will take care of this. The 10 will also decrease this to become 12 times 8295, as in dividing this value by 10. This will you get. So now this times what? 12 will now give us 99 Ghana cities, 54 what? Pesos. So you can see this is the, the, the new price, which is bigger than the original price because there is an intended word profit. Question 14. Of the following fraction, which of them is greater than what? Half. That's one out of two. We have 2 out of 11, 4 out of 7, 4 out of 9, 5 out of 11. There are two ways of doing that. We can do this by using the comparative word method, as in having this being a complete one bar, dividing the whole of this into two. So if I have this, this means one half. Then I have identical or the same using the same scale, divided into how many parts? Seven parts. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven. If I'm taking how many parts? Here we take one, two, three, four. We can say that this is going to be bigger than this. In case of this. Taking the same shape, this is being seven, making it nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are taking how many parts? Four parts. So one, two, three, four. We can see the difference. You see the difference between them? Then if we take the next one, which will also be the same bar divided into 11 parts. So one, two, okay, let me take it here. So I need five here. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five is what we are taking. So if you compare, you can see that the one that has the highest proportion will be 4 out of 4, 7. That is one way, the traditional way of doing it. The other way is to multiply all of them by a word, 100. Multiply each of the fraction by 100. I don't mean the denominator, the whole fraction by 100. If you do that, you find the percentage of each of them. Then you compare the percentages to see which of them has the higher percentage. Because this is going to be 50%, because half of 100 is 50. So you are comparing 50% to all of the percentages. Then obviously, you have this to be bigger than what? This. The rest are going to be less than 50. This is going to be 57%. Then you'll be able to know which of the fraction is bigger than the other. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.